Hey, everybody. We're back with the author of A Bright Ray of Darkness, Ethan Hawke. Besides writing, are, do you have any other creative outlets during the pandemic? Because a lot of people sort of feel, some people feel sort of enervated, like they, they can't get anything done. Like every, like sort of a Groundhog's Day, they, they feel like they can make no personal progress. What are you doing to stay, for lack of a better word, sharp? Have I in any way given you the impression that I was staying sharp? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. Absolutely, <laughs> Absolutely. exactly. Uh, I play the guitar with my kids. I like to do watercolors. I tried to exercise. You know, I had a great blessing during this whole pandemic of having this. The, the good Lord Bird took a ton of my time promoting it. I felt kind of like an honor, and um, it was something I really enjoyed doing. The that story, I think, speaks to a lot of the central issues that America is thinking about right now, and so. Mm -hmm. In a lot of ways, this whole Zooming allowed me to do more interviews than I would have been able to do. Because, you know, I could Zoom with some journalist in Atlanta and I, I could know. Zoom with somebody in, you know, Paris. And so I've been talking about John Brown for like six months. And while that might not sound that interesting to some, it's proved absolutely fascinating. Have you been able to perform? Like, have you found any other outlets for actual... I mean, you can't do theater. You, you can't, you well, know... You know there's one thing I am doing. Uh, I'm doing a Zoom production of Waiting for Godot, believe it or not. We're trying to raise, yeah, we're trying to raise money for the theater. And so uh, John Leguizamo, Tariq from The Roots, sure. and Wally Sean and I are all, uh, we, we meet a couple times a week on Zoom and we, uh, you know, we, we work on Samuel Beckett's Waiting for Godot. Okay, wait a second. So are you Vladimir or Estragon? I'm Vladimir. And, and Leguizamo is Estragon? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. And so, and so you have Tariq, who's, Tariq and Wally Sean. Who's lucky? Who's Pozo? Uh, Tariq is Pozo and uh, Wally is lucky. And I got to tell you, I don't, you know, I'm not selling out here, but it's proved to be one of the most interesting things I ever did in my life because there's something so alienating about yes. this experience. And, you know, the characters can't remember whether it's Saturday or Tuesday or Wednesday, and they don't remember what they're waiting for. And... It, yeah. I, I'm hearing the play entirely new, and my hope is you can, it'll be available, you know, on the web or something for a few weeks. You can, you can watch it. We're going to record it live, so it's not like a reading. We're really trying to perform it and explore the material. And, and where, where, like, where are we going to be able to, where are we going to be able to see it? Well, it's for a theater company called The New Group, and uh, it'll be available I think it's like March and April, but if you go to the New Group website, you can see where, when it's going to be available. They do not move. <laughs> His novel, yes. A Bright Ray of Darkness, right here, is available tomorrow. Ethan Hawke, everybody. We'll be right back with a performance by Mickey Guyton.